73.8. The number of hours the average American adult spends on their phone, which comes to right around two and a half hours per day. We are constantly scrolling. For many of us, checking our phone is the last thing we do before we go to sleep and the first thing we do when we wake up. Now, I don't have a problem with social media. I think it does serve a purpose, and when used in moderation, I actually think that it adds value to our lives. But the problem is that most of us do not consume in moderation. In fact, most of us consume social media like we're dependent on it, mindlessly pulling it out while we're driving, in public environments when we feel awkward, and it has even become a part of us during our simple daily routines. In our home, it has gotten so bad that even our dog is addicted. I'm not here to bash on anyone because I am right there with you. I can honestly say that I'm addicted to my phone. I use it way too much. The crazy thing is that phones and apps were originally designed and intended to serve us, to help us and make our lives easier and more efficient. However, I think the exact opposite is the reality. So today is the start of my 30 day social media fast and I'm not going to consume any social media for the next month. And I have a few motivations behind that. The main one just being my well-being. I don't want anything to control me and I certainly don't want to be dependent upon an object. So step one, delete all social media apps. With the apps taken off of my phone, I think I will have a lot less of a temptation if I take away the ease of access. Step two, figure out what to do with two and a half more hours of free time. I think a lot of people complain about the lack of time in their day, saying things like, you know, if I had more time, if I wasn't so busy, I would totally get around to that, whatever that is. And so I know for myself, uh, with two and a half more hours per day, what I hope to do are some things that have been hard for me to do in the past, such as going to the gym more consistently. Uh, I want to maybe even start reading more regularly. And for definitely, maybe the most important thing that I want to do is more cuddle time with my puppy. I like my dog. Don't judge me. I also have another reason for doing this. As a creator, I want my ideas to be original and authentic to who I am. But so often, because of the amount of content that I consume, I find myself in a rut creatively, not knowing what to do next. And sometimes, while filming and making videos, I'll even stop and ask myself, what would Peter McKinnon do? On this channel, I want to make videos that actually matter content that has meaning and add value to your life. And I feel like the best way for me to do that is to stay true to who I am, to be genuine and authentic, and really make videos that reflect who I am and what my life is all about. Uh, with that being said, I don't plan on changing the type of content that we make necessarily because, you know, cameras and gear and, and all that stuff are something that I am passionate about and I think I always will be passionate about. But I just, I do want to add to the content that we already have. I'll, I want to make sure that if you take time out of your day to click on one of my videos, you can be confident and know that it's going to add value to your day, to your life. So let the 30 day social media fast begin. During these 30 days, I will still be making videos and posting them weekly on this channel, but that'll be it. Not checking Instagram, not watching any videos, just sticking to my post schedule and that's it. I'm really excited to start this experiment and I can't wait to share with you all what I experience. Thanks for watching today's video and I'll see you next week.